She says in her question, uh, many Pakistani visit the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well as the companions and make dua facing them. Is this acceptable? Okay, first of all, what is the proper etiquette of visiting the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Yes, you face the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you give him salam. As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As simple as that. Peace be with you, O oh, the Prophet of Allah, and may Allah's peace and blessings be uh, upon you. Okay. If there is time to say, Ashhadu annaka ballaghta risala wa addayta al amana, I bear witness that you've delivered the message and you fulfilled the amana, etc. And you say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammad, the Drood Sharif, fine. Okay. And when you step forward to give salam, to Abu Bakr, to Abu Bakr Siddiq, may Allah be pleased with him, who's only a couple yards away from his best companion, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, buried next to him. Uh, Assalamu alayka ya khalifata rasulillah. Peace be with you, O oh, the successor of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in leading the ummah. Radi Allahu anka wa Allah. That's a supplication. So I may say it while I'm facing the grave, like the Dhu Sharif, that's a supplication. Okay, so what's the supplication that I should turn around and face the Qibla because basically it is like 180 again is the Qibla, the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yani, I mean, the Sunnah whenever you want to make dua and ask from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Sunnah is to face the Qibla. It is not necessary, it is not a must, but it is uh, recommended. Face the Qibla, raise your hands, etc. Introduce your dua by Praising Allah, giving salam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, making your dua, then once again giving salam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, great. So if I'm planning to make dua for myself, for my family members, for my beloved ones, or for the ummah at large, then I should turn around 180 and face the Qibla and ask from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I agree that a lot of people they get carried away and they shed tears and they don't know what to do because they have not been educated enough and instead they start asking from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Vast majority of people they do that because they, they get carried away and they don't know. And simply because of making the tradition and fulfilling the command of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of enjoining what's right and forbidding what's bad Subhanallah, we find vast majority of people are receptive. When they say, brother or sister, uh, face the Qibla when you make dua. Subhanallah, the word is very soothing and it makes sense. So right away they turn around. A few people are very stubborn because they know what they're doing. And they believe that they're here to ask from the Prophet Sallallahu That's a different case. Okay? And it's hard to convince them because that's their belief. It's a belief. It's a corrupt belief, but it is their belief. So as far as, uh, as for uh, the common folk, the laymen and the ordinary people, here we're saying once again, Al-Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our most beloved human being ever, whom we love more than our own selves, our spouses and our family members, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا سَأَلْتَ فَاسْأَلِ اللَّهِ He was alive. And he was the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has a direct action, uh, uh, access to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet he says to his companions, the hadith was to Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma. إِذَا سَأَلْتَ فَاسْأَلِ اللَّهِ إِذَا اسْتَعَنْتَ فَاسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ If you ask, you should only ask from Allah. If you seek help, you should only seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think this is very clear. So you should turn around and make dua facing the Qibla when you're asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But while giving the salam and sending the du sharif upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's very obvious you do that while facing uh, his honorable grave sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similarly is the companions. Now, when we go to the side scene of uh, the martyrs of the battle of Uhud, you see wonders. You see some groups of Shia and Sufis and others making a party there, making long nasheeds and crying and calling on Hamza and calling on the companions of the Prophet. So I feel sorry for them. 
I feel sorry for them. That defeats the purpose of Tawheed. I don't have to repeat what I said again. Allah is our Lord. Allah is the only one who should be asked. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it straightforward in the Quran. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانٌ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ It is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said whenever you ask or supplicate or you seek help it should be only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not need any intermediary. Your good deeds is your connection. Your good intention your love to Allah and His Messenger is your best wasilah.